to you by Emma Lahana, musician slash actress. Whether it be exclusive pictures, fan art, or the latest news, it has it all. You can't be a fan of Emma Lahana without going to this site. So check it out at shyranger.com. You know, my thoughts, <laughs> what someone said, this is my, personally my personal thoughts. Someone said, hey man, uh, one of my, my employees said, hey, do you know what the new episodes are, Power Rangers next year? And I was like, no, I really don't care. I was thinking, you know, because I don't follow it. But, um, the last, I think, <clears throat> my personal experience being with the Power Rangers, I mean, um, you know, we had a lot of good times looking back at it. It kind of was just, you know, like college for us, man, getting paid to be crazy and all that stuff. But um, I think it made an impact, too, on a lot of people, you know, as far as, like, getting people involved in the martial arts. So let's talk about it that way, that a lot of people got involved, uh, you know, training instead of doing bad stuff and staying away from peer pressure. Uh, and, uh, but... <laughs> It's, I, you know, I, it's been good because, you know, like I posted on the, on um, my, the internet, on that Sucker Punch Entertainment, that it wasn't, if it wasn't for my fans, you know, I, I mean, I appreciate every fan I got. I've never turned a fan down. Uh, if they ever wanted anything, no matter what was going on in my personal life, uh, you know, I can be whatever, and I've never turned fans down. And really, without you guys, we wouldn't really be here. Um, you know, so that's how I look at it as far as, I don't look at it as the Power range. I look at it as the fans makes the show. Because, you know, I mean, if, you, if not, I would say hi to my one fan. I'd be like, hello, one fan. But we have a lot of fans, and you guys made the show what it was. You know, and I don't take that away from anyone except you guys. You're loyal fans, and you still are. And I think we're going to, you know, get new people. Like, she's all into it now again, and, you know, so. <laughs> Jeez, sorry. Uh, I'm not confirmed yet, but I did just get the invite. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I didn't go last time. I heard it wasn't a lot of people, though, last time. No, they had a, they had, well, I mean, it, it was a first year con, but it was still a <clears throat> decent size. They got a lot of people, they got a lot of people going, or, at least on the website, there's, there's quite Hopefully a Hopefully we'll people. have that film done, too, and we can do some promotions Yeah, it'd be kind of cool, stuff. we can start showing so. film. You know what, it's tough, because uh, I did watch both. My dad was really into Star Trek, uh, but I liked Star Wars, you know? Um, <laughs> But I, di I did like the, that last Star Trek movie, you know? You know, I was at a con once, and uh, uh, just because you brought this up, and uh, what was I doing? I think I, I was showing Wicked Game, I think, at this thing. And then uh, out of nowhere, oh, there's like these, these guys up here, the voice actors were doing some Avengers or something, and I was out there listening to them. Um, and then uh, this Star Wars, like Obi-Wan Kenobi order stands up and starts asking one of these guys questions. And then like Spock stands up over here, right? And he's like, Star Wars sucks! And th to to Obi-Wan Obi Kenobi, right? And Obi turns around and he's like, what? And then they like converge on each other, boom! And they start fighting and like security had to like take them out. It was crazy. Like, so I don't know who won actually. You Star Wars or Star Trek fan? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Star Wars, you know, when I was a kid, you know, I just really don't watch a lot of TV. A talking sword? It's fine. I talk sometimes, like I pretend to slob. It's like, hey, 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 you know. It's all right. We don't see a lot of that footage, though. But um, with the, that, you know, because, never mind, Johnny? <laughs> Johnny's, Johnny's the weapon expert. Look, he pays attention to all that stuff. Me, I just read. I've been there so long. I just read the script. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Anyone's got questions with monsters and all that stuff? I go, Johnny? <laughs> I don't know what the question was. Anybody got another one? A talking Saba sword. It, it was, it how was, did it feel for you? How did it feel? That I had one. For me? That you had one yes. and I didn't? Yes. I thought, it was a, I thought it was weird that mine couldn't talk, you know? I mean, it did, though. It, it did to me. Like, I could hear it. No one else could hear it. You know, me and the battle axe, you know. The thing wasn't very sharp, by the way. I jacked a lot of stuff. You got to take that. You got to steal it. You, you have to take it. I, I, the only thing I took was a communicator um, because I forgot to take it off. <laughs> I was like, sweet. Um, but they ended up giving me one, too. And then I, like, I stole the, uh, from the suit in the movie, I stole the frog. And... Uh, and, and if, I, I guess there's a what, Planet Hollywood in Florida or Orlando, they have my costume without the frog. <laughs> but that's all I have. I got the black ranger suit from uh, Dino Thunder. Yeah, I had to wear that out. 
you know, for real, for real. Like I got dressed, you know, and I'm like, you know, button up and I'm sitting in the van. And I'm thinking, man, I'm kind of like, you know, waiting for, you know, someone to, you know, I'm just like my costume on. Okay, guys, see you later. Get out of the van. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, I got that. It's hanging up. <laughs> uh, and then a Green Ranger, uh, just the spandex, Green Ranger spandex. And um, the Green Ranger uh, dragon dagger, the flute I blow. And uh, that's about it. A couple shoes, miscellaneous boots. Yeah, I do. A couple shoes. I threw a White Ranger boot at David Coatsworth on the Power Ranger movie. You remember that? Huh? I, got, I threw the, my boot at David Coatsworth. We were filming that night. We were, I don't know if you were. Yeah, I was doing that bow staff. Caught and David's like trying to get in my room. Remember David Coatsworth? Oh, yeah, yeah. Trying to get in my room. I'm like, leave me alone. I was just freaking out. I was like, late, late, late at night. I did like... How many takes on that bow cotta, dude? Like take after take after take. Again, again, another take. And it was just, I was just grouchy. I told David, leave me alone. I threw my boot, <laughs> my White Ranger boot. I got the other one, though. It was good. <laughs> they worked as hard. I mean, we yeah, had like 16-hour yeah, days. Yeah, it was crazy. It was just. Yeah, the only day we would have off is Sunday. But occasionally we had ADR and stuff on that day, too. Yep. Tons. I was going to say with that. Uh, that Dulcia girl, remember yeah. we hired her, then, then I punched her in the stomach, joking around, I punched her in the stomach, she had, I don't know what happened, but. No, anyway. we had, I, I, I don't remember her name that. or whatever. We did, like oh. in the movie, we had like another Dulcia. Mariska, that's it. Yes. There you go. And uh, I remember we were, the first read we had with her, you know, um, yeah. and we were in this room, and then she does that. You remember that? Like she flashed us, her boobs? Yeah, I and and then then I was like, like what just happened, you know? And she's like, and then for the scene, I guess she was. No, just it's not like, true. One hand was gone underneath the table. I was like, Johnny, what are you doing? He's like, had this look on his face. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's all right, that's what you get for all those stories. <laughs> all right, never mind, never mind. No, but like, but anyhow, we shot like we shot a whole thing. Like we like Jason did this thing where he did like twenty like jump spinning back kicks or whatever in a row. Yeah. Remember you were just like psh, psh, psh. Yeah, we did yeah. like a whole full oh, training yeah, sequence yeah. stuff, you know? And like we each each character had like something else, like more development. It was actually probably better. Like I was I that was at the time when my in the script that it was like the frog had speed or whatever and like my thing was supposed to be like I was the fastest at pulling my gun out and shooting these flies and I was like trying to catch them with like chopstick and I was like, forget it and so I started shooting them. <laughs> and so we shot that stuff, but then yeah, they just cut it out. And then the rats, we had the rat suit. Remember they had those giant rat suits? And then they switched it to the uh, ooze guys. There's quite a Wait, bit. so much money on that, huh? That like, different helmets. Ugh. Helmets, helmets that, everything. Like, we shot raise. for like, you know, we, and we ended up staying there for like another month or two shooting yeah. or something. Yeah. There's a, was a lot of deleted scenes. If you, on the Turbo movie too, um, <clears throat> like uh, if you get the box, there's still a box out there. On the back of the box, I'm like shooting uh, like a flame torch thrower on like some alligator that's not even in the film but they put they made the box <laughs> i don't know it was weird uh you know what all right so overdrive i i like i said yes to it you know and then i was looking on youtube just to see because i hadn't watched it obviously and i just wanted to see what it was like if things were different or whatever and then I saw that there's like a couple episodes. I don't know if it's like space or something or what. The one that Dan South. I shine. Was. Where are you going? That's rude. Oh, oh, my own bandmates are leaving. In the front row. Uh, and so it was like the story was actually kind of good or whatever. The episode that I saw or scanned through. And so I thought, oh, cool. We might have some cool stories or whatever. And I was like, hey, can can Adam die? And they're like, no, it's Disney. And I was like, all right, whatever. And so I didn't get a script until I got there. And I was like excited. Oh, what's going to happen? And then I get there and I'm flipping through the first. I get the two scripts. I'm like, sweet. And so I'm flipping through the first script and I don't say anything. I have one line at the very end of the first script. I'm like, okay. And then I go through the next one and I'm like, wait a minute. This is just like when I was on the show. I'm saying more phenomenal. What the heck's going on here? Has, has it not changed at all? And so I just like, I just, in my head, like, I just said, okay, he's 13 years older, and I'm not going to be as cheesy as these, the script is. <laughs> yeah. That's all I could do. I mean, you probably what did the same that? thing, what, right? Uh, what season did you do that? I, you... It was the 15th anniversary. It wasn't a season. I just came for oh. two episodes. What, did you go to New Zealand? Or? Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Didn't you? Uh, well, yeah, for Dino Thunder, but then Dino they, you know, were too cheap to bring me back or something happened. I don't In know. Auckland, right? Well, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Auckland is really cool for like two weeks. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I was there for like four months, five months, and I got so sick of the food. I was just like, yeah. oh, my gosh. Oh, the Euros? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they eat sheep yeah. or lamb. <laughs> it's the same thing, right? And there's sheep poop everywhere. <laughs> I mean, everywhere.